Hey guys, AC30 here, and welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to get your own website. Now, I posted on my community tab the other day asking if this is something that you guys wanted to see, and a few people said yes, so I decided I would make the video for you. So for the people wondering why having a website is important, here's just a few quick reasons as to why you should have a website. So especially if you have a business, having a website is really, really important because actually something like 93% of sales start with a website. And it's also a place to put information about your business and that kind of stuff. And if you're a person, just having personal information about yourself, contact details, um, it's a good way to look good when you're getting a job if your website pops up and you can put your contact info there or projects that you've done, that kind of thing. And having a website also allows you to have a professional looking email address for your business or even just as like a personal email address for you. To get started, we're going to need a few things. We're going to need a domain, web hosting, and then finally something to use as our website. Um, so in this video, I will show you how to do all of those things and I also have a 40% off coupon for you for web hosting So make sure you keep watching all the way through and I will let you know that when we get there First we need to go to a website where we can register a domain There's a bunch of places that we can do this and all of them will work just fine But I'm choosing pork bun for many reasons First, the pricing is the best that I have seen, and they have free privacy protection as well to hide your personal info. Um, their support is really good. I personally have over 15 domains with them, and I've only ever had a positive experience, so they're really, really great. So I will have a link in the description down below. Uh, let's search for the domain that we want. And when this pops up, you may notice .com is actually already taken, and that's because I already own that. But just for this video, because I want to show you how to do this, I'm going to go ahead and get... Hmm, what looks good? They have a ton of different options here. Let's get .club. So once we click plus to add it to our cart and check out, um, as you can see, it'll be $1.74. We check the spelling. It's all good. We'll continue, and I will finish creating an account and checking out, and then I will get back to you as soon as that's done. So now I have finished creating my account, filling in all my personal details, and as you can see, it's popped up with this billing information. So I will go ahead and pay with PayPal, and then I will get right back with you again. So now that we have a domain, I will need to get web hosting. In case you weren't aware, I do actually own a web hosting company, and I've been working on it for a while now, um, and it's been released for a little bit. Now you remember earlier I mentioned having a 40% off coupon for you and that is on top of the already great pricing. So let me just quickly compare it to the pricing of GoDaddy, which is uh, the world's largest hosting company, just to give some context to the pricing. Um, now this comparison is without the 40% discount as well, but even just from the hosting itself you can see it's a lot cheaper. They also charge for a bunch of other important features like SSL and backups that we offer for free. Finally, if you have an existing website and want to move it over to us, we can do that for free within a day or two. Um, while they would charge a hundred US dollars for that, and that could still take seven to ten days. So now that you've seen that quick comparison, you can see how our pricing is really competitive. And when you use the code AC30 at checkout, you will get a 40% discount on top of that for the first month. So one of the other cool things that you can do is you can have multiple websites on the same hosting account. Um, and all of our plans feature that ability. But since we're only using one website in this example, we can pick the base tier. So let's sign up here. We have a domain already aca30.club that billing cycle is good continue we can enter the promo code ACA30 and as you can see we have a nice discount 239 so now to finish checking out I just need to fill up my personal information again and then I will be right back with you so now that I have that, I'm going to check out and I'll be right back with you as soon as this is done. 
Okay, so the invoice is now good and my hosting will be activated. Um, I will quickly verify my email address and wait just a few seconds for it to pop up in here. It will do that automatically and all I have to do is just wait a few seconds. So as you can see, the order was activated in just a few seconds and now we have access to all of the tools and features that come with it. So now that we have both our domain and web hosting, we need to connect them together. To do this, we need to go back to the domain registrar's website and set up our authoritative name servers. So once we're back on the website, we need to click details, then edit these authoritative name servers, delete whatever's in the box, and enter in the following. It'll also be in the description. If you'd like, you can also add two extra ones just for a bit of added stability, but it is not required at all. Two will work perfectly fine. Okay, submit. So now that our name servers have been changed, we're now successfully connected. Now, if you're sure that you've successfully changed your name servers over, but when you load your website, you still see a page like this, that's perfectly normal. It's because technically the name servers can take up to 48 hours to change completely all around the world. Um, it usually takes a lot less than that in my experience. I've never had it take 48 hours, but that is the absolute max amount of time that it can take. So it may take a few minutes. Um, in my experience, it usually takes about an hour depending on what it is. Usually this activates faster though. So if you see this page and you know that you've successfully connected them, that is why it can take a little bit of time to fully change. But once it does, it will be connected to the web hosting. So now you can see the page has changed and that's because the domain is now connected to our web hosting. It's successfully propagated. So now finally, as you can see, this isn't much of a website. So we're going to need some actual content and you have a few options for this. You can create your own website by coding if you know how to do that. Um, you can use a template, you can use a CMS, or if you don't want to deal with any of it, you can hire a web designer, which uh, I also do that. So the link will be in the description for you to contact in case that's something you want to do. Um, but if you want to do it yourself, uh, I'll show you how to do a couple different options. So I'll start with the CMS since that's the option that it doesn't involve any coding and it will probably be the easiest for most people. So in this example, I'll be using WordPress, which is designed for uh, blogs, but it can be used and is used actually for a lot of just non-blog regular websites. We provide a super easy way to install WordPress with very little work from you and no extra work uh, for the installation. So first we need to log into cPanel and then we need to scroll to the bottom to the Softaculous app installer and we can install WordPress. So we'll install it now. We will install it on the secure, that domain, and I am going to install it in this case in the directory WP. So what that means is to access this, you will have to go to this link slash WP. Now for a main website, you would leave this empty, but for this example, I'm going to use a different method on the main website. And so I want WordPress inside of this subfolder. So we'll give it a name and a description. Uh, let's just say YouTuber. And then we need to create an admin account and password. Next, we need to set an admin email. Uh, you can leave that if you want, or you can just set it to your own email. And next, if you want a language that's not English, you can select it in there. You can add plugins, but I'm just going to skip over everything else. The main things that you need to do is just change this to install in the secure area. So even if this says a trusted SSL certificate was not found, that's okay. That will sort itself out. Just make sure you install it in secure, make sure you're on the right domain. And then 
if you want it to be accessible from that main domain, make sure there's nothing in this box. But in my case, like I said, I want something in there. And then you just need to set your title and create yourself an admin account. And then when you click install, it will do all the work for you and install the site. You can click this URL to immediately be signed in or this URL to view the page. So now that it's installed, we can see this is what the back end looks like and this is what our website looks like right now. And as you can see, it's designed to be a blog. So they give you a sample blog post with a reply and a page. So this is what it can look like. Or there are tons and tons of themes and plugins to enhance your WordPress website and you can just play around and make it whatever you want. There are lots of other tutorials on YouTube from other people about how to make your website with WordPress um, and they have all kinds of plugins and themes like I mentioned and they will show you like the best ones. Uh, now my really quick suggestions would be to quickly go into plugins, add new, and just install the plugin really simple SSL and that will just make sure that your website is using SSL all the time just make sure that you activate SSL and then you will be good but if you guys want some videos about WordPress how it works how you can make your website um, important plugins that kind of stuff make sure you comment down below and let me know and I'll be sure to record some stuff about that so now that our WordPress is all good to go, I mentioned another way of getting your website. I mentioned coding your own or using a template. So I will show you now quickly how we can use this template that I downloaded. I will edit it and I will show you how you can upload it to your website. Looking for an HTML template is pretty easy. You can Google around or there's lots of other websites that you can find them on. If you're looking for premium paid templates, you can look at Theme Forest at the link below, or you can just go to websites like Templated, Nice Page, Colorlib, or even just looking around on Google for the free templates, like I mentioned before. Now, in this example, I found this one online. I just looked for portfolio HTML templates, and I'll quickly modify it so that it looks good and it works for what I want. Since we're not in just installing it, like WordPress, we need to actually upload it. So I will show you how to do that. So first things first, we need to log into cPanel again, and we need to create an FTP account. So click FTP accounts and create yours. I'll call mine files, and I'll give it a password. Next, just make sure that this is empty. Make sure that the box is empty and then it will have access to all of the files on your account and we'll give it an unlimited quota and then click create account so now we'll use an ftp client to connect and upload the files i'll show you how to do that next if you scroll down and click configure ftp client this will give you all the information that you need to connect so i'll open up filezilla and make the connection so now that we filled in all this information from the page and the password that we set before, we can click Quick Connect and Connect. Now that this is loaded, you can see that there's a lot of folders here, but the folder that you have to place things in in order to be accessible, you need to place them in the public.html folder. And as you can see, we have this WP folder from where we installed WordPress just a few minutes ago. But if we go back up just to the public HTML folder, if we upload all of these files, my site will be accessible that I just edited. Now that all the files are uploaded, you can see that my website is now visible. And this was just a really quick example of what you can do in just a few minutes by editing a template, as you saw. And obviously you can go a lot more in depth and have pages and lots of different content. But this is just a quick little informational portfolio page, just a few minutes of work. The last thing I'll show you in this video is how to create a professional email for you or your business and how you can connect that to a mail client like Microsoft Outlook. In order to do this, we need to jump back to cPanel and under the email section, we need to create an email account. Now, if you want to create a brand new fresh email account, you should do it here. But if you want just a nice looking front facing email that just sends all of the email to your personal Gmail, for example, you can do that. So to do that, you could go forwarders and add a forwarder, set up the address to forward, and then set the email to forward it to. 
So for example, we could do that to have all the mails sent to this email be sent to that email, and that's as easy as it is. If you want to create a brand new email, all you have to do is go to email accounts, click create, set the email address, set a password. We can set a higher storage limit and then click create, and that's all there is to it. To, to view how to set up the email, we can check the click check email, open, and as you can see, we're now in the inbox. And this is pretty functional, but if we want to connect it to a third-party program like Outlook, we can do that using the information in this welcome email that it sends us. As we get started, we need to open up Outlook and type in our email address that we just created. Make sure you click advanced options and let me set up my account manually. Next, you need to use IMAP and set the mail server to the information in this email. Once you've filled out your information, click next and enter the account password. Now that you see account successfully added, we can click done and it will take us to the Outlook page with our email. And as you can see, our configuration email has come through and an Outlook test message has come through as well. So everything is working perfectly. If you want, you can send an email to yourself just to make sure that everything's working and then try replying from that other account just to make sure that this account can send and receive email, but you should have no issues if you don't go ahead and do that. So it's definitely not necessary. That's all for this video today. As you can see, in a pretty quick amount of time, we've managed to get ourselves a domain, hosting, and get ourselves all set up with a website and professional email address. But if you want more information about websites, make sure you leave a like and comment down below, letting me know what you're looking for. All of the links and other information from this video will all be in the description for you, so make sure you use those. And to make sure you don't miss videos like this in the future, make sure you also hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.